Over 90% of the oil and more than 60% of the gas produced in the EU and Norway comes from offshore operations. The 2011 explosion at the Deepwater Horizon rig in the Gulf of Mexico that cost 11 lives and caused 30 billion euros of damage to the marine environment has brought safety to the forefront of the minds of the energy industry, governments and, of course, the energy-consuming public. Proposed EU regulations aim to ensure that only companies with the planning, expertise and resources to cope with any environmental damage are allowed to carry out offshore operations and that their liability will be extensive. While member states and industry welcome the aims of the legislation, there is a debate that more time is needed to prepare comprehensive rules that apply in all circumstances internationally and are not stifled by administrative burdens that don't improve the safety framework. What this proposal does is to ensure that each operator has a contingency plan. Not only is it responsible to have it, but it must present it to the authorities to say that these are the number of potential risks. These are the measures that we have prepared in case these risks will occur. We've all got common aims. The operators do not want to have a spill. The legislators don't want to have a spill. The regulators don't want to have a spill. So we all have common aims. And that's the common aim of us, is to try to make sure that we all manage them properly and make sure we get the right form of legislation. We believe that it's through increased transparency, both in the planning stage and in the execution and operation stage, that, uh, that, the, uh, that the industry, as well as the regulators, are, are going to be held to the highest possible standard of, act, of, uh, of performance. When you look at the existing framework, there are areas that can be strengthened. The first area is liability. When we look at what happened in the Mexican Gulf, it's clearly fragmented. And that is the case in Europe too. Large areas actually belong under the jurisdictions of member states that at the moment do not necessarily have extensive operations or, or no operations at all. So they would be at some point potentially newcomers to the game. For, for, for some regions they, they really have to do a, a, a solid piece of work to, to ensure that their regulatory mechanisms are in compliance while the ones that already have an established regime, again, depending on measure, it depends upon what kind of work they need to do to be in, a, in alignment. We have to recognise that these are minimum standards that are, will be set all over Europe um, and that there will be a possibility to add on national measures, whatever they see fit. We are convinced within the Parliament that with the prospect of new oil and gas revenues, it must be possible, it has to be possible to set up those uh, necessary structures as new structures apart from existing administra administrative capacity or within the administrative capacity that is available for the time being. You know, if we bring in this regulation, we'll spend five years getting it all into the right format for the EU and we will end up exactly the same place as we are today, but with different paperwork in place. We'll have lost five years of moving forward on safety. It is clear that all parties agree avoiding accidents is a priority, but is the current proposed EU regulation the right tool for that job? Have your say at commentvisions.com, on LinkedIn and via Twitter. <laughs>